This is Ariel helping on the solar install, filming cats. Hunter. If he comes up here, we're gonna have issues because he's gonna step on everything. <laughs> All right, today is the big day. We are putting in our solar system. That's some of the setup there that Eric will go over. I'm gonna go outside and meet him because he's starting with the panels first. Are you getting started? Yeah. Okay, so today we are finally getting around to putting our solar system in and um, we are gonna mount the panels to the side of our storage container. So our first step is to get this piece of pipe mounted right there. Okay, so we don't have a welder anymore. So what we're gonna do to get this up there is I'm gonna drill holes through and just you bolt it on. And then run some silicone um, around the inside so we don't have any leaks. solar panels we got two of these um, we need to get these panels and all of our mounting hardware on top so um, we're gonna try to do it together and get everything up there and then we're gonna assemble it and hook it on our post As you can tell, we're on top of the storage container now, and we're gonna try to get this, uh, it's called Iron Ridge, and it's a kit you can buy to mount your panels. So we're gonna try to get them mounted up, and we'll get back to you and show what we got. To our first, not really a problem, but mistake, I guess. Um, this mount kit, I think, is meant for smaller panels. And so the guy that sent us home with this gave us longer, you know, lack of a better word, is it brackets? One of these things. I don't know, brackets. So we have a little bit of a gap. So we're going to have to correct that somehow. But we figured we'd share with you the first wrongdoing. I guess it would be wise to look that up ahead of time. All right, so we got this top bracket in place. We just had to move these, um, I don't know, side brackets, uh, like six inches in on each side. And now we're gonna get the bottom bracket bolted onto our mounting post.
Okay, so we got it on here. Wasn't pretty. Um, now all I'm doing is I'm gonna run um, the wiring from the panel down and towards the house. So this mount has a, what's it called? Like another bar to extend it? Yeah, it's got more extender bars on here that kind of slide, and this is adjustable to tilt. Um, we don't know very much anything about solar. We're just kind of putting this in ourselves, as you can tell. Um, so, so we're gonna we're gonna put them in. Yeah, we might have to extend out the angle a little more. Yeah, because this is not the angle that it's at. I don't have my protractor, <laughs> but it um. Usually you put solar panels at a flatter angle, I know that. I guess that true obviously depends on the sun and the time of the year, but... So we're gonna put those on, maybe not today. It's a little crazy, so... Feeling like I got my thrill for the day. <laughs> so that's what the solar panels look like from down here on the ground. Um, they are 300 watt solar panels each, and the system that we have inside, we'll talk, Eric will talk more about that, but theoretically we could have two more, and we could just put them right there to the left. And we chose that location because it is like south east exposure, um, and you can move those solar panels as the you know, sun goes down over here in the west. And they, they do seem pretty stable for the most part right now. That mount is meant for those panels and it can hold to those panels. So we looked at it. The only thing we really could do if we were a little unsure about it is move this pipe up a little more and put that second, the slider bar, um, kind of down further, stabilize a little more. But it does seem pretty secure. Um, we haven't lived in this area very long and they get pretty bad winds here in the Matsu Valley. Um, I want to say the worst we've experienced here was maybe 50 to 60, but it does get worse than that. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think we're done out here for now. I think we're going to head inside and try to figure out how to wire it. And then if everything works, we'll come back and bury the cable. Call it done. Okay, so we made it inside the house and this is where, for now, we're gonna mount all of our solar stuff, which is gonna be basically from here down. And then this top section is gonna be in another video and that's gonna be our hot water heater. But I'm gonna put our breaker box, our charger, and our inverter all mounted on here. Okay, so we got everything mounted where it is gonna go. Um, the solar panel's wire is gonna come into this um, breaker box and then it's gonna feed into the charge controller. And the charge controller is gonna connect to our batteries. And then our batteries are gonna connect to our inverter, which is gonna connect into our house. Um, we kind of ran short on wiring, so we're gonna call it quits for today and this will be part one. Um, we're going to run to the hardware store in town and hopefully get everything else we need and we'll get back with part two of the video. Mm -hmm.